I've got to say, I feel very tinged with sadness today, having you back on without Larry, because it was such a special day for me when all three of you were here last time. And to, to lose him just a few months later was a real, a real body blow to all his fans. But I think particularly having understood from the pair of you just how close you all were, right. uh, it must have been really difficult for both of you. I mean, Patrick, how, how's it been dealing with his loss? It's a it's a mixed sort of bag of feelings because you know the three of us were the best of friends and the good news about that is nothing was left unsaid between the three of us. We were with Larry literally right up until uh, a couple of hours before he passed. So there's none of the I wish I could have said or I should have made him understand this. None of that's there. But it's the day to day experience of being able to be in his presence that uh, leaves an empty spot that you just can't fill up. You just wish he was there because he was so much fun. He was, you know, the biggest person I know in terms of being able to include everyone in his life. Those are the moments that will never come back, and so I have to rely on the memories, but the memories make me smile. Uh, Linda, I want to play you a clip from our last uh, interview and then, and then come to you after this. I, I wouldn't be doing it without them. Uh, we wouldn't be doing no, it, would no. it? No, I mean, we, somebody approached me and said, would you like to do the show? And I said... Are my friends going to be on the show? And they said, sure. And I said, Lynn, let's see the script. And then we all can, we talked about the script. We liked it very much. How do you feel, Linda, when you, when you see him talking like that? You knew him 30 years and was so, I guess, just completely positioned with him and career-wise for so long because of that fabulous role that you had opposite him. How do you feel when you hear him talking? Well, it's, it's that wonderful, bittersweet. I can hear him talking all the time. Um, he's, his presence is everywhere, Piers. Um, like Patrick said, he's just part of us. He's part of the thread of our lives. Um, we began together. Um, we were known as the Three Musketeers. Uh, when Cynthia Cidre and Mike Robin um, cast us all, they called us the Big Three. So it's always been that dear, constant friendship connection. And he's always with us. He's always in our hearts. And his humor, I mean, I just laugh about things that we did together. And, you know, it just keeps, it's like he's not there, it's not, he's not here physically, but he's always with us. So that's the joy of having Larry Agman as a friend for 35 years.